Hello, hi, how are you today? Hey, in this video, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about what lies beyond what we consider human love and how the universe can make you feel loved and supported. Now, I know that a lot of people have been through some really intense energies. You've been through like a really baffling time wondering what's happening. But here's what I need to tell you. As you continue with your twin flame journey, and when you do the work, when you do especially my light body work, what happens is you start to get above board. Now this flavors all of your relationships, including your relationships with, you know, how the relationship can help you. So in this video, I want to talk to you about expressions of love find you. And these are some of the delightful things that can happen on the journey. And they are not a coincidence. It is intentional. And the higher parts of you have a part in this. Did we sometimes forget this? We think of ourselves as these, you know, on a planet, like little specks of sand sometimes, and you're not. You have a spirit and you are going places. I help people with their twin flame journey, their healings, their purgings, their ascension and relationships and so much more. So welcome to my channel. Okay, expressions of love find you on your journey. So let's just talk about that for a minute. Um, I remember getting a book years ago and it was called The Love Languages. And it was a breakthrough book, let me tell you, because a lot of people didn't really think of themselves that way, like having a love language. But, you know, some people's love languages are soup, like someone made them soup. It could be that simple. Um, but that is an act of service. That's doing something. Um, other people's uh, love language might be doing something together. For us as twin flames, it's the whole package. It's all those love languages plus a lot more. And we are, the real twin flame is always trying to please you or help you or do something. Even when they're not standing right next to you, even when they're not in your house, and especially if you're in a separation, this is why it's crucial because a lot of people just forget that you have something that other people really haven't started yet. You have your activation. You're aware of this. So those expressions of love can really get above board. And despite toxic things, your higher self will send you what I would call messengers of love. Now, what could this be? It could be a temporary soulmate, which is why some people are like, who was that soulmate? Were they karmic soulmate? Were they... Were they like an interim soulmate? Were they just, I call those people sometimes emissaries. They are emissaries sent by your real love to kind of tide you over, help you during a time when you need help and you're still gonna be together and it's accepted, okay? You probably had an agreement for that soulmate and yet it comes time to break that contract. Your higher self is sending you things despite toxic things around you. And we focus a lot on like toxic stuff. In fact, a lot of people see stuff on the internet having to do with twin flames and they get really deterred. They're very, um, almost afraid. They're afraid of twin flame love. And I'm telling you, please stop being afraid. Please stop putting bad press out there. Please stop saying it's about, you know, loving, essentially loving a narcissist, getting a degree in psychology so you can deal with that, try to change them, then throw up your hands and be like, I'm just going to love myself. Because that's a lot of people. I'm just here to love myself. Yes, we know Barbie and we do uh, take it beyond that. There is something more. So what's next? This happens in small things and in grand big things. Now you might find that you've had, you know, some contention with your family only to find out that they start doing things for you or helping you. That is the result of doing this work. 
That's not the result of hating them or being negative to them or, you know, making them the bad guys. Everyone's done bad stuff somewhere on their journey, somewhere, somewhere in your existence. You might have always uh, also been a perpetrator, not a victim, but we all like to think we're all victims. You know, this is not really healthy either. Victim mentality is not healthy. So let's flip that upside down and really get you above board where these really good things can happen for you, where you're literally magnetizing it. Why? Because your higher self wants you to magnetize it to yourself and for each other. And you do this. That's what love does. You know, it would be like saying, how do you need healing? I need healing because I feel like I'm being pre-diabetic. All right. I'll take care of this. I'll prompt you and do things and, and do whatever to help. I also need to stop. Like people keep giving me treats. It's done. Consider it done. That is how your higher self is. You know, like things around you shift into our minds. It gets real baffling. Like what's happening? Why is the world moving? Why did they move my cheese? Why did they, you know, why did they, 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 they are doing, please get up into a level where you stop saying they did this and they did that, okay? I will say this, there are people out there lying to you about this journey and it doesn't have to be this way. I want you to discover how delightful this can truly be because we get results, we get those kind of results. I've had those kind of results. I've had spontaneous healings of things. I've healed things that are in the ancestry of my family. I've gotten my son into a top college. I've gotten other people on their journey to find their entrepreneurial spirit. Those things are the result of this work. Healings, the, the journey, the love relationships, the better relationships with family, whoever that is for you, your cousins, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your kids, you know? So this happens in small things and grand big things. I'll give you one example, personal example. I had this week where for whatever reason I was craving cake and I had no time and I'm like, gosh, if I make a whole cake, I'm going to eat it myself and, you know, I just really can't do that. Um, I Who would I give it away to? I can't drive it around. And... Later that day, my mom came over and she had made cake and gave me just the right amount. It was perfect. Now, this is what I talk about when I say small things. Are you getting small things or finding small things that are just what you need in that moment? It's just what you need. It could be a piece of equipment. It could be something that you see on Facebook Marketplace and you're like, oh, who knew? Guess who knew? Your higher self. Your love knew what you needed and you were the one lined up, aligned to get it and to make it happen. And it happened for you. Now, what about really grand, big things? Okay, we work towards this stuff. We put down our seeds. We plant for the next season. But those big things, sometimes the time is stretched out. It takes a little longer and it takes some alignments, but they do happen. They do happen. And I mean, talking about big things like, how would it be to get rid of diabetes for your future? If that runs in your family, that's huge because diabetes is one of those insidious diseases. Or another big thing along those same lines, addictions. How would it be to be able to stave off that and be like, oh my God, you know, drinking killed my grandfather and like, killed this other relative and the other one went blind because his optic nerve, nerve fried out. How do I like divert my path? It is by doing this work. That is how that happens. So these are really grand big things. You can't stop wishing for these things. Your wish list should be like this. I mean like a huge list. Not everything gets knocked off the list like right away. That's part of the adventure and you are on an adventure here of getting things where the universe supports you. 
Now, the result of the work is the result of your brand new Twin Flame body integration so that you are learning how to enable others in the universe to serve you love in above board ways because angelic love exceeds human love yet it includes it so this can include all the cards and flowers you may not get flowers from the person that you're thinking should give you flowers and yet it can be arranged through the universe that you receive flowers it hits different it's in how it hits you because when you're doing this work you can feel and sense the real the real direction that this comes from now this has been with things like you know big things that people need small things that people need you have needs it's not needy to need it's not needy to need to be supported it's not needy to expect love i'm gonna say something else twin flames are the people that are the conduit you're pulling in a much higher version of this it should be utilized for yourself and then rippled to others that means other people are almost counting on us they're counting on us to make sure that this stuff gets where it needs to be there's a distribution at this level we pull in love we're not pulling in another dimension we are pulling in love to help this physical plane of living and get people above board okay we're not in the industrial revolution anymore but we got a lot of tech and yet that tech can mess with our heads and we can forget our spirits and our heart but you won't because when you do this that is how it plays out and you even experience if you're a woman for example and maybe you always get nervous that a man's gonna talk to you okay and you could have you know someone here and going oh my god that man saw me uh now i'm gonna be in a conversation with a complete stranger i'll be obliged to converse with them and oh i just like how am i ever going to like okay and she's right away feeling tense her height fight or flight system is going haywire and she's like woo 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 she's already on that roller coaster ride what do i do with this person how do i talk to them okay when you're above board those interactions take on a completely new flavor a completely different flavor of being above board there is not the tension there there's not the mind scatter like where do i run where do i hide what am i going to say how am i going to say no what am i gonna, how am i going to flirt or you know how do i get the upper hand in this there's none of that and i have personal examples of like people just it didn't happen i was at the home improvement store and got in a conversation and i kept expecting that shoe to drop and that's the thing with doing my work don't expect the shoe to drop it's not going to fall down unless you make it fall down if you're doing the work you stay in in that above board place and others rise up to meet you they show you their best their heart energy responds to your 5d heart energy love that you're emanating so if that's not happening for you maybe it should and it's time to start and it's time to really know what what is this really supposed to feel like because it's not an endless string of narcissism it really is not it are it is people on their p's and q's it is people minding their business and being kind what happened to common human decency right if you're what if you're doom scrolling you're not going to see those things i want you to experience it how small and how grand it could be so i have a class uh coming up please look at the links below to uh join my class and we're gonna delve into some of this stuff or we do one-on-one -on -one sessions i have books readings and coaching if you need some coaching for the things that you're going through please get it invest in this because while this is very new it's not going away it's probably the newest thing around take care have a great day bye